Steve, man. Steve. My hard drive, man. It's, n it's not working. I was downloading the... Uh... Billy, Billy, slow down. Take a breath. All right, so today I downloaded the new Jay-Z album. Try to put it on my hard drive. It's not working. Um, at all. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let me take a look. This is seriously an asshole, man. I this album like a... Alrighty. Um, Billy, you realize your hard drive is completely full, right? Well, what do you have on it? I don't know, some, uh, some music, uh, tons of photos, a lot of movies. <laughs> you know, well, kinds of things. there's your problem. You got too much stuff on your hard drive. There's just not enough space. Yeah. Oh. Why? I mean, sure, hard drives can hold a lot, but they have their limits. I mean, only a few decades ago, computer storage could barely hold one MP3 song. That sucks. Seems to me like you don't know a lot about computer storage. Here, my brother sent me a slideshow he made for his computer science class about it. The evolution of computer storage. I think you can learn a lot from it. Can I learn how to give a good blumpkin? Because I really am not interested. <laughs> oh, Billy. Just watch the presentation. Pre-computer data storage. Data storage doesn't begin with the invention of the computer. Storing information can be traced back to early caveman paintings up to the first use of paper. This is a time before information can be turned into bytes. Still used today, paper and printing was the best way to store information. That is, until the invention of the computer. punch cards. The early use of punch cards were isolated to election polls. These cards provided the voter and the vote counter an easy medium to use. Punch cards also provided a simple way for storage in man's first computers. Thus, punch cards can be considered the first data storage devices for backup, because the additional copies of punch cards were made also to restore data in case of a loss. Compact Cassette Tape Produced in 1963 by Philips, the cassette tape was primarily invented for use in audio recorders. It soon became the recording medium of choice for recording artists because of its improved storage space over vinyl records. A cassette tape is composed of plastic-covered magnet tape wrapped around two spools. Floppy disk. Invented in 1971 by IBM, the floppy disk is composed of a small circular magnetic metal piece surrounded by plastic. Newer models of a floppy disk use a sliding metal door to cover a strip of magnetic tape. Floppy disks were typically able to hold anywhere from around 360 to 1500 kilobytes. Compact Disc. Created for mass production in 1979, the CD revolutionized data storage. Standard compact discs have a diameter of 120 millimeters and hold around 74 minutes of music. Following the release of the CD came the CDR, which could be written on with a laser CD burner and a PC. The CDRW allowed for the CDs to be written multiple times over. Compact flash cards. Invented in the early 1990s, a CF card is a device that uses flash memory in a standardized enclosure. Flash memory devices are non-volatile and solid state, and thus are more robust than disk drives, and consume around 5% of the power required by small disk drives. Also, flash memory cards can operate at a range of negative 45 
to 85 degrees Celsius, which makes them ideal for portable devices. DVDs. Essentially the cousin of the CD, the DVD is a disc that stores significantly more data than its predecessor. This allowed for the storage of video, and DVD became the premier choice for movies. With the arrival of DVD to the movie scene, this pretty much solidified the end of the era of VHS movies. USB flash drive. A flash drive is essentially memory integrated with a USB interface used as a small, lightweight, removable data storage device. To access the data stored in a flash drive, it must be connected to a computer. This hot swappable, non-volatile, solid state device revolutionized the way everyday people store data on the go. Blu-ray disc. Succeeding the standard DVD is the Blu-ray disc. Blu-ray was jointly developed by a group of leading consumer electronics and PC companies called the Blu-ray Disc Association. It gets its name from the shorter wavelength 405 nanometer blue laser that allows it to store substantially more data on the same size disc than a DVD. One layer Blu-ray disc can hold about 25 gigabytes or over two hours of HD video plus audio and the dual layer disc can hold approximately 50 gigabytes. Holographic memory is a technique that can store information at high density inside crystals or photopolymers. The advantage of this type of data storage is that the volume of the recording media is used instead of just the surface. This 3D aspect allows for many information-laden holograms to be superimposed or multiplexed in the same volume of medium. Wow, dude. Real fascinating stuff. Intriguing. Yeah. By my dad. Data storage is an amazing science. We take for granted the technology we use every day. It does have its limits, though. <laughs> uh, okay, then. Thanks for the uh, great knowledge, my friend. Yeah, here. Let me, let me properly disconnect this so I can yank it out and give it to you. <laughs> uh, you know we're just friends. I don't want to. I don't want to step that much forward. So there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. All right, Billy. Dude. Have a good day, man. Thanks for that. <laughs> don't give it to me, man. Uh, get out of here, Billy. <laughs>